Don't you think learning English is easy? Let's go over negative and tough questions for giving opinion. Negative and tough questions for giving opinions. Use negative questions or tough questions to offer an opinion and invite someone to react. Isn't it weird how some people are always on their cell phones? Doesn't it seem like kids spend too much time in front of the TV? Wouldn't it be great if everyone had a cell phone like that? Shouldn't the government limit the number of sites? I get email on my cell phone. That's nice, isn't it? TV makes kids lazy, doesn't it? Use the phrase, don't you think, to form negative or tough questions. Don't you think there are too many websites? It's actually dangerous, don't you think? Negative and tough questions for giving opinions. A tough question is a question added at the end of the sentence. Tough questions are used to make sure there is agreement with one's opinion or to make sure information is correct. That was a great restaurant, wasn't it? The post office is next to the bank, isn't it? The post office isn't next to the bank, is it? The verb in the tough question is negative if the first verb in the sentence is affirmative. An affirmative if the first verb is negative. Ta questions have falling intonation when the speaker expects the listeners to agree. They have rising intonation when the speaker wants to express uncertainty. Negative questions are also used to seek agreement with an opinion. Read the following vowels. Agree or disagree with these opinions.